so in this video we'll be learning about more into uh, Kinter uh, how to create a basic window provide a resizable option uh, creating labels and creating a basic button into a Kinter window so let's begin so open up the uh, ID and type in from Kinter import star then we will create a basic uh, variable for the kinter object that is tk and uh, save that tk into the window variable which will be used in every widget which will be which will be created in the kinter window so let's create uh, so in here we will provide a geometric option for resizing the window so window dot geometry and uh, provide 300 and uh, 300 this is how you uh, provide a resizable window option for a kinter, kinter window let's provide a title to it so these are the basic inbuilt attributes which you can use or import for performing certain task so for title we'll provide welcome and let's run the window by calling the main loop so this is the code for creating a basic window and with a title so let's run so as you can see this is the size 300 into 300 and the title is welcome so let's get into creating widgets that are labels and buttons so label 1 is a variable name where you can store the label which you want label is a kind of uh, inbuilt method in kinter so you can just uh, provide label as a widget name and window is the first argument which you pass in the label uh, which you want to create so in whatever widget widgets you create in kinter you need to provide the kinter window widget as a first argument in that particular widget so window and uh, providing a text welcome to kinter and uh, Mm, let's provide some fonts font is equal to Arial comma sorry. providing some size option that is 16 and bold you can provide also italic and uh, yes we can pack it over here now pack etc so this is how you can create a basic uh, label in kinter and we can run this so as you can see this is how you can create a uh, label into the window and provide certain uh, font styling that is the aerial the font style the size and bold italic whatever you want uh, you can also provide foreground and backgrounds to it so we'll just provide over here uh, fg is equal to blue and uh, bg that is the background is equal to uh, background considered as yellow So this is how you can provide a foreground and a background to the label. So let's see. Wait a minute. G and uh, blue. Sorry, it should be in quotes. Uh, 
and let's rerun so as you can see this is how you can provide a foreground and a background to the label which you have provided into the window so this is the blue is the uh, foreground and background is of yellow now you can uh, provide something called as a border that is a relief i'll just show you relief is equal to solid so these are the some of the styling options you can provide it provide to a label let's rerun this so this is how you can uh, provide a solid uh, solid option to or a boundary to the label which you have created it looks pretty good and uh, so um, now come now we'll come to the positioning the uh, label so over here pack is to basically a default it takes a default as the top of the window so there there is pack there is grid there is uh, place so place is something more reliable so place place has two arguments that is x and y where you will provide x is equal to so it basically works on the coordination system x and y axis so x is equal to 110 and y is equal to Hundred and ten as well. So let's see where it is placed. So it went outside the window. No problem. So this is how you can position the label as well. So let's reduce the to like uh, around. Or reduce the font size 16 make it as 12 and provide it 110 and rerun it so the font size is reduced so this is how you can basically position the label by place and pack and etc now let's see the option of uh, pack what are the options provided within pack so I'll just lower this down and type it as label one dot pack so there are uh, different options provided in pack as well like fill uh, is equal to both so both here determines that uh, X and Y both are occupied entirely and will provide pad y is equal to 2 pad x sorry x is equal to 2 and let's run so this is something is what we get when we use this fill option we can also use uh, expand true these are certain options you can use for styling sorry expand is equal to true let's read on this so as you can see it is entirely uh, occupied with the label so this is these are certain options you can use while creating a application the most preferable one is the place as you can place the widget wherever you want and it is more configurable so I'll stick on to x is equal to 110 and y is equal to y is equal to 90s 80 we'll provide it as 80 and on that so 
it is something which is more preferable so use place there is also grid and column options such as grid row is equal to one and So this is how you can provide rows and uh, column is equal to 1. So let's run this. So it went ba based on the rows and columns uh, position. So this is not more preferable. Let's do it as pack. So it will be in center. run it so this looks more decent and let's jump on to the button part so create a variable for button button 1 is equal to button provide the argument window provide a text a demo and uh, you can provide the styling options over here copy the styling options are almost similar to the labels so you just need to copy it and uh, let's keep the foreground as white and background as a uh, brown and let's provide this solid and remove the quotes so there are certain options i'll just mention it over here so ridge is one of them and place the button dot place x is equal to 110 comma y is equal to 110 and rerun it so as you can see a button is created so i'll just show you the more options those are just comment it over here Grew, comma, rigid one, sunken, and uh, raised. So these are the options you can provide over here in relief or uh, relief option. So I'll just provide this raised over here, and let's see what is the output. So there is certain changes made within the button, some styling within it. Uh, let's provide group. Let's see how we can. Rerun this. The button has. The properties of the button has been changed a bit so there is not much of a change so basically this is how you can create a label a button and provide some styling to it so this is the code for it